still a child. Yeah, well, good, because I'm at school. Look, I love nuns. Beverly, I love nuns. I love that nun. Sister Danielle is going bananas. They're all going bananas. We're at Villa Madonna School. Uh, and, and this is a morning ritual. They're doing their little warm-up song. Get ready. We're going to get you ready. We're talking to Elise, who was booted off American Idol. And we're taking you to the cool school of the week, Villa Madonna School, when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. The orange, then you squeeze. The orange, squeeze, squeeze. The orange, then you form. The apple, form, form. The apple, then you form. The school is very cool. We are at Villa Madonna School. It is our cool school of the week. And you want to talk about, this is why I love my job so much. I go from talking to somebody about American Idol to interviewing a nun on rollerblades. This is my life, ladies and gentlemen. Sister Danielle on rollerblades. This has become quite a tradition at Villa Madonna School. Yes, I started to rollerblade around the school a little bit, would come out at recess, and the third and fourth graders just started to naturally ask me to race them <laughs> at recess time. So we always have a little race going on. And, you know, I, I remember the flying nun in, in repeats. <laughs> the, uh, so you're the rollerblading nun. That's correct. I love it. I love it. You wear it well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, I think, on live local television, it's Sister Danielle racing the, what do we got, fourth graders here? Third and fourth. Third and fourth graders. All right, third and fourth graders versus Sister Danielle. On your marks, get set, and go! All right, here we go. Oh, I just hope she stays up on her feet. It would be a YouTube sensation that I do not want to see. All right, there you go, Sister Danielle. As Sister, as Sister Danielle rounds the corner, we got a couple of parents here and a couple of teachers here. Uh, head of the PTA here, correct? Yes. yes Tell yes. me why you love having your kids at this school. Uh, I love having my kids at this school because they get a terrific education in this environment. So, you know, from that perspective, it's, uh, as a parent, that's all you want. I love it. And, and as Sister Danielle told us earlier, there's, there's time to play and there's time to pray. Come on, Sister Danielle, come on! Come on! Yeah, there we go. All right, all right, oh, goodness. Somebody's, why have kids here? Environment, we, the lobby here, there's loving kindness. Very and nice. And, and two teachers, but also parents of children uh, at the school as well. Why do you love teaching here, and why do you love having your kids here? Well, at Villa Madonna, we have really high expectations for the kids, and they rise to that because we're all about positive and focusing on the, the loving environment, and it is just a great place to work. It really I, I, is. You know, it's a great environment here. Diversity, that's a big thing for us here. Academics, of course. Um, great kids. Great kids. <laughs> awesome parents. <laughs> and great staff. And then, of course, sports, sports. and PE. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good. Well, you got to do that. You got to do that. All right, Sister Danielle, come here. I, 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 I'll have to check the videotape, but it looked like dead last you came in. I know, I know. What can I say? Somebody's got to lose. <laughs> All right, that's all right. All right, good for you. <laughs> Suffrage, right? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love my job. Water buffaloes yesterday, rollerblading none today. Doesn't get any better than this. Charlie. Yes, ma'am. You tell Sister Danielle that she needs a helmet under that habit. <laughs> uh, she, 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 it's the, the halo protects her. Oh, she falls, I see. <laughs> halo protects. They said you should be wearing a... All right, here you go. Don't make a habit of rollerblading without a helmet. <laughs> That's good, too. Good, good. Uh, All right. She's okay. That was fun. Right, that thanks. was fun. Thank oh, you. Charlie, what you got? Hey, well, it's our cool school of the week. We're at Villa Madonna School, and we told you at this school they play and they pray, and they love doing both. We showed you how they play out there racing Sister Danielle around on rollerblades. And now we are inside chapel where the praying part takes place. All of this added together makes it one cool school. Stick around. We're going to talk to a couple of the students of Villa Madonna School and find out why they like going to school right here. Stick around, everybody. It's going to be a good day. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Villa Madonna School, our cool school of the week. And the way you become a cool school is you have to be nominated first. Somebody writes an email to gooddaytampabay at wtvt.com, and you're nominated. And Tori, third grader here at Villa Madonna, you actually emailed us to nominate your school. Yes, I did. Yeah, and what did your email say? It said, like, how Villa Madonna is an awesome school and how should it be and how it should be put for Cool School of the Week. Yeah, and why do you think it's a cool school? Because when I first what changes, changed schools, um, er, when I first came here, everybody treated me like family. Oh, you could not be any cuter if you tried, could you? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, little Tori, breaking my heart. 
Good for you, sweetheart. Good for you. See, you wrote your email, and here I am. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a prize. Uh, all right, Mr. President, uh, student body president here. What's your name, sir? Thomas. Thomas, a big eighth grader. Tell me why it's a cool school. Uh, what makes our school cool is that we have Salesians walking side by side to holiness. Very nice. Yes, Very sir. nice. Madam President, president of uh, National Junior Honor Society? Yes. Wait, and tell me why you think it's a cool school. Um, I like the faculty a lot. They're they're supportive and everything, and they just reassure you that you can do it. And it's Very just nice. a good school. Reassurance. Uh, our another eighth grader here. What's your name? I'm Maria Flores. And tell me why you you like going to school here. I like Villa because it's such a family environment. Everyone's close, and we all know each other and love each other. Good for you. Another eighth grader who was the lead in the school play this year was <laughs> Cat in the Hat in Susicle. What's your name, sir? Uh, Shaheem. Shaheem, tell me why, why you think it's a cool school. Because, I mean, the sports here are, like, amazing. It's, like, we're all family in the sports, and it's great sportsmanship. And everything here, like, the play, it was really amazing. And we had everybody come together and help us in the play. And we're just a, a big family, like everybody yeah. said. So you, you play sports and you're in the play? Yes, I am. You're like uh, Troy from High School Musical. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. How about that for a hip reference, huh, Tori? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a dated reference now. Who watching High School Musical? Nobody watches that anymore, do they? No. no. I do. Oh, do okay, we good. all do. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, Tori, I'm going to give you the last word. You got us out here. Uh, are you happy? Are you happy uh, you, you, that we're out here and you're having a good time with the cool school? Totally. Yeah. Totally. All right. Totally. Thank you. How about, how about let's look in the camera and just tell everybody have a good day, Tampa Bay. Have a good day, Tampa Bay. Go Vilma Don Eagles. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. There you go. Happy Friday, everybody. Stick around. More Good Day Tampa Bay right after this. Charlie Belcher is at a little gem this morning. This is a great little place. It's fantastic. At Villa Madonna School, we've been doing this for 75 years now. We, we showed you the playground. We went into chapel. Now we're inside a fourth grade classroom. And they're proud of their technology they are fortunate enough to have here. Look at that. Laptops for everybody in this class. They're learning some great math skills while having a good time, too. When we come back, we're going to go to the classroom next door where the teacher is using a very interesting teaching method that I can't wait to tell you about. Stick around, everybody. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Villa Madonna School this morning, our cool school of the week. We're now in Mr. Henline's sixth grade class. There you go. Say hello to a bunch of sixth graders right there. All right. We've got to love sixth graders. All right, Mr. Henline, you're Morning. using an interesting uh, teaching method that is called what? Uh, it's the Kagan uh, st structures, the Kagan teaching method. Wait, wait, and what is that? What, uh, what that is exactly is we want to uh, try to engage as many students as possible simultaneously. So um, a lot of the times we'll use these structures and we, the goal is to try to get 50% of the class engaged simultaneously at one time. Uh, now that sounds like chaos to me. What, is it, <laughs> what does that mean, having them engaged all at one time? It may seem like chaos, but in essence what it does is we're engaging them in their multiple intelligences, which is um, engaging the brain in the educational process. It may look like chaos, but uh, they're actually learning while they're moving around. Now, how does it work here at uh, Villa Madonna? We're in sixth grade. Are you teaching multiple subjects to, in sixth grade, or is this just a one particular subject class? Uh, this is uh, sixth grade literature only. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, so what kind of thing, what kind of literature are we studying these days? Uh, we're studying um, a light novel. It's called Maniac McGee to uh, round out the year. So that's Very what nice. we're doing. And, and uh, writing projects, book reports, that sort of thing? We always have projects and writing assignments, yes, sir. Wait, mm -hmm. And what's uh, the, the literature list like these days? I mean, uh, Hunger Games, are we, are we to that level yet, that kind of thing? Absolutely. Hunger Games is very popular. We've already had several of our students read the entire series. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, they really have enjoyed that series. Very nice. Uh, so that means you guys are the most uh, articulate, uh, well-rounded, best-spoken kids in the school, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes? yes? All right, so... Kel I'll pick a student at random. How about Kelsey at random here? Kelsey, tell me about uh, what life is like in Mr. Henline's class. Cool. <laughs> that's, that's what you got for me? You, you've been talking to me for 15 minutes that you want to be on TV and you give me a one-word answer? Uh, we, do, we do a lot of Kagan and we walk around and do uh, quiz quiz trades and stuff and it's fun. Now the Kagan thing, what does that mean? What are you doing when that happens? You're opening your mind and stuff. Nice, opening your mind and stuff. It doesn't normally happen until college. You guys are doing it in sixth grade. Right on. Okay, what books have you read this year? Hunger Games, um, Jacob's, no, Jacob's Ladder, I think, yeah. 
Evolution of California Tate and Maniac McGee. All right, there you go. Kelsey's on TV. It's just her always wanted. I want to end right now. Sister Danielle, come on in here one last time. I want to thank Sister Danielle for having us here. May very well be the, the coolest nun I've ever met in my life. <laughs> she was just telling me she's also a black belt in karate. So there we go. She rolled her blades, a black belt. Thank you for having us to your school thank today. Thank you so much. You're doing a good job keeping it cool here. Thank you. God yeah. bless you. Thank you for visiting us. I appreciate that very much. Sister Danielle, and this has been a very cool school, Villa Madonna School. Yes, it has, and we loved her on the skates, too. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you on Monday, Charlie. Have a good weekend. All right. You too.